Shalom, Israel. What's up, YouTube? I'm Isaiah 720. Back with another one. Today, we're going to delve into an intriguing distinction between two significant entities in the Hebrew scripts, Hashatan and Azazel. These figures, while sometimes completed in popular culture, possess distinctive roles and powers that are essential to understanding their places in the biblical text. So let's get to it, y'all. Hashatan, the heavenly prosecutor. Let's begin with Hashatan. The term Hashatan, H7854, Hebrew lexicon translates to the accuser or the adversary. In Hebrew, contrary to the modern portrayal of Hashatan as the embodiment of evil, Hashatan in the Hebrew scriptures serves as a different function. He is depicted as a servant of Yahuwah, acting as a heavenly prosecutor. Yeah. Hashatan's roles and functions. Hashatan's primary role is to test the loyalty and faith of humanity towards Yahuwah. He is not inherently evil, but functions within the divine council to challenge and examine the righteousness of individuals. A prime example, this can be seen in the book of Job, where Hashatan challenges Job's piety suggesting that his faith is merely a result of prosperity and protection by you. Hashatan's status and authority. In terms of status, Hashatan holds a significant position within the heavenly hierarchy. He operates under the authority of Yahuwah and executes his duties as a divine agent. This role emphasizes that Hashatan is part of a larger divine plan ensuring that the faith of humanity is genuine and steadfast. Now let's get to uh, Azazel, the embodiment of sin and rebellion. Next, let's turn our attention to Azazel. I like Hashatan, Azazel, Hebrews lexicon number 5799 is associated with entire different conations and functions within the Hebrew scriptures. His association with Yom Kippur, Zazel, is notably linked to the wilderness and the scapegoat ritual observed during Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. According to Levitical law, two goats were selected, one for Yahuwah and one for Azazel. The goat designated for Azazel was symbolically laden with all the sins of the people and sent into the wilderness, representing the complete removal of sin from the community. Azazel fallen Malachim. Azazel is also described as a fallen Malachim, expelled from heaven due to rebellion against Yahuwah. This characterization places him in a stark contrast to Hashatan, who remains within the divine council. Azazel embodies sin and defiance, representing the forces that lead humanity away from righteousness. Y'all heard me? Male violent power. The terms of male violent power, Azazel, is often depicted as a more dangerous and evil entity than Hashatan. His influence is seen as actively harmful, seeking to corrupt and mislead humanity. This male violent nature is a key of aspect of Azazel's identity, distinguishing him from the role of Hashatan as a tester rather than a corrupter. Comparative analysis. To summarize the distinctions between these two entities, one, status and hierarchy. Hashatan, a servant of Yahuwah, functioning as a heavenly prosecutor with a significant role in the divine council. With as Azazel, a fallen Malachim, expelled from heaven and associated with sin and rebellion. Number two, roles and function. Hashatan tests humanity's faith and loyalty to Yahuwah, acting within the boundaries set by divine authority. With as Azazel represents the embodiment of sin, 
associated with the scapegoat ritual and leading humanity astray. Number three, nature of power. Hashatan holds a higher status within the heavenly order, serving a divine purpose without inherently inherent male violence. With as Azazel again possesses more male violent power, actively seeking to harm and corrupt humanity. In conclusion, in conclusion, while Hashatan and Azazel may appear similar at a glance, their roles and statuses and natures are quite distinct within the Hebrew scriptures. Hashatan serves as a divine function as a tester of faith, whereas Azazel embody sin and rebellion exerting a more directly harmful influence on humanity understanding these differences enriches our comprehension of biblical history and complex nature of these figures shalom barakah